what's going on fishaholics i'm on my way to the water and uh we're gonna do uh, some fly fishing today work got canceled because of the uh, um, you know the rough conditions on the south side and you know jose is approaching and tomorrow tuesday and then wednesday is supposed to be really really bad so uh we're gonna try and take advantage if you know you know you know me if uh, a storm is coming i'm fishing so a uh, subscriber sent these to me his name is umar and uh, he put a little note in here. It says, enjoy and crush the bass and albies from the fish burglar. His Instagram is at uh, fish burglar. And, uh, you know, it was an envelope full of envelopes full of flies. And we got one envelope labeled surf candy, another envelope uh, labeled clouser, and another envelope uh, labeled big boy toys, aka for the 20 pounder. And, uh, yeah, let's take a quick look at these and then hit the water. But uh, these are amazing. Look at all these flies he sent me. That's, that's a crazy amount of flies, and these are the 20 pounder flies, supposedly, and right out of the, you know, envelope, you can tell that, uh, you know, they're a lot larger profile, something to get, uh, to give a bigger fish a little bit more bite, you know, attract a larger fish, and hopefully get that bigger bite that you want, and this one's really cool. I'm definitely going to catch something big on this this year, and this one is pretty cool. This is like a, a squid imitation fly, I'm assuming. And uh, if it wasn't windy today along the south side, I probably would have hit the surf with the fly rod and probably would have threw something like this, you know, to attract, you know, stripers. It looks like a little squid. They probably would have loved that. And uh, I got a lot more flies here to go through, so I'm going to put those aside. I'm sure you'll see them in, you know, some more videos. This one's pretty cool right there. And um, we got the clousers, which these clousers I'll probably bring today. Just, you know, look at all these clousers there. So a good assortment. And the bait is really tiny right now, so... You know, something like that will probably work. A little clouser, we'll bring that today. And uh, something like this, we'll probably, we'll bring that today too. That looks pretty good. And yeah, so let's move on to the surf candies. Oh my gosh. Umar, you went like over the top with all these flies. These are amazing though. Like look at all these nice uh, surf candy flies here. harbor seems a lot lower than it usually is so we're gonna probably come back and fish the flats once the tide gets a little higher it must be like a new moon or a full moon noise so there's gonna be some fish over here definitely hopefully we can get a couple by the way I'll probably show you guys an albie clip at the end of this video so if you guys want to stick around for that you know, I just caught one Albie in the kayak, and it's pretty cool, you know, some cool footage, so I'll show it to you guys at the end of this video. I'm gonna start off fishing with one of Umar's little surf candies here. Kinda looks like a little epoxy bait fish, epoxy minnow. See if we can find a fish with this. Fish on, fish on. Look what I caught. Caught a little needlefish. I snagged them. That's a crazy catch. Jeez, I'm trying not to get bit by this thing. Holy crap. Look at that crazy looking thing. That's a first for me, snagging a needlefish. So it was really slow over on the bay side, so I decided to come back over here to the harbor. I'm gonna work my way down to the bottleneck. I think it's a little too early in the tide just yet for this spot. So maybe on the way back to my truck, I'll hit this little flat again. But I'm thinking the bottleneck will definitely have some fish that'll be hanging out there and staging. 
looking for something to eat on this incoming tide. So when I got down to the bottleneck, the water looked pristine. It looked like classic striper water. You know, nice strong incoming tide, clean water, and I even saw some bait, but for whatever reason, I guess the fish gods were just not on my side on this day. You know, I just couldn't find any fish here. So then uh, I pretty much gave up and, you know, started walking back to my truck, but first stopped off at that same flat that I was at and uh, got kind of lucky. Fish on, there he is. Found one, finally. Found a little guy on the flat here. This little striper has been the striper of like miles upon miles. That's one thing for sure. There we go. First little striper on one of those new flies that uh, Omar, uh, Umar sent me. A little surf candy, a little like, you know, epoxy bait fish. Not a giant little striper, but a nice one. A real pretty fish, nice and healthy. Let's get her back. Whew, so we finally got one. That's what I'm talking about. Tide's about halfway up, and finally, I guess some fish are starting to cruise their way into the harbor, or they're starting to feed. Getting a lot windier out. Come on, fish. Just want to catch a couple more and get out of here before it gets dark. Oh, there he is. Got him. Uh, found another one. Real tiny one, but you know what? I'll take it. Totally take it. Really pretty fish. There's really not too much signs of bait or fish, but there's fish here. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's keep fishing this flat. There's definitely fish here. I did not see the day going like this. Definitely. I was throwing a curveball. I thought the action was gonna be like hot and heavy on the bay side. And it turned out that there wasn't any fish, you know, there at the time that I was, you know, hitting it. I mean, it could be a completely different story if I went there now. You know, there could be fish there, you know, feeding on top or something, but I didn't see too much bait. I didn't see too much fish activity. So that's why I came over to the back to the harbor. But uh, I never expect to catch fish. Always just, you know, hunt and try and catch fish. Come on, Stripa. Oh, there he is. There's another one. I saw that one flash on it. Another little guy. There's got to be something a little bit bigger here, though. There he goes. There is another one. These fish are stacked right here. Getting a little bigger. Nice healthy fish. Whoa! 
fish pulled hard. This might, oh yeah, I think it's a slightly larger fish. Definitely slightly larger. Whoa, yeah, man. This bass is pulling hard. A lot bigger than the other ones, I think. Or slightly larger. Come on, buddy. Come on in here. Ah, a little bigger. Pulled like crazy. All right, just got to the water. Kind of in a rush. Birds are diving, fish are torpedoing through the water. This is awesome right here. This is what it's all about. Even if I don't hook one up, this is crazy. This is awesome. Oh, just had a big blow up. Just had my first blow up. There he is, got him. I found the fly, boys, I found it. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. It's a little guy though. A little guy that doesn't know he's hooked yet. Not bad, all it took was the fish to go berserk for me to hook up. To be honest, the really true way to catch these fish is on the fly rod. There's like nothing that comes even close to comparing it. It's just way more of a challenge. It's way more fun when you hook up. Woo! First alvey of the season right there, boys. And this guy choked it. There he goes.